One of the victim's fathers sent us this surveillance video, showing what appears to be a car hitting four Plymouth State students walking down the street back in March. All were injured, but survived. My daughter is still trying to regain her life. Police identified the driver as 61-year-old Herbert Link. They say he did stop and go back to the scene, but initially denied being involved. He was charged with conduct after an accident and negligent driving. According to court documents, Link requested to determine his competency, and an evaluation was supposed to happen within 90 days. But it didn't, so his attorney asked for the case to be dismissed. The state says the forensic examiner's office had been overwhelmed with the number of competency evaluations ordered across the state and asked for the deadline to be extended. The judge denied that request, and since there was no evaluation done, dismissed the charges, saying Link, quote, is not competent to stand trial, and there is no reasonable likelihood that he can be restored to competency through appropriate treatment within 12 months. One of the victim's fathers tells us he's upset by the ruling. He says his daughter is still recovering months later. She's lucky to be alive. Her hair was stuck in the windshield. Um, her, her, uh, her, she had a laceration on the back of her head. Um, her left leg was, you know, junk for probably a month, month and a half. The state asked the judge to reconsider both rulings, and in a statement to News 9, the Department of Corrections said the Office of Forensic Examiners has, re has received more than 800 orders for competency evaluations since 2021 and still needs to fill several positions. In the newsroom, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.